Hello and welcome to this feature walkthrough for SE Optima's bulk reporting tool. In this video, I'll cover off some of the high level features of bulk reporting and how you can use this super powerful tool to generate hundreds, even thousands of custom branded SEO audits all from one CSV file. There are at least four main use cases for why you would wanna do this, which I'll cover off first starting with the most obvious one, agency lead generation. Imagine creating site audits for hundreds of local businesses in your city at the touch of a button. You can reach out to those businesses who need your services based on the results of their website audit. They get a beautiful custom branded report and you can deliver value right up front. The bulk reporting tool can power your new business prospecting in a way that will give your agency a competitive advantage in market. This is also a popular approach for digital agencies who are adding SEO as a new service and want to analyze their full client or prospect list. Use case two, pre or post event marketing. Some agencies run in-person or virtual events like workshops, conferences, or meetups, and typically attendees register for tickets. And during this process, you can capture their email and website. Before or after the event, you can export all those URLs and easily follow up with them uh, in an email delivering value with a white label audit generated through the bulk reporting tool. Use case three, franchise and multi-location auditing. If you work with franchise brands or multi-location brands, bulk reporting can help you audit all the individual websites underneath the main brand and ensure best practice SEO is performed across the whole group. Bulk reporting is perfect for delivering reports for each individual location or business and then aggregating all the performance together for an overall score. Use case four, industry and web research. Bulk reporting can help you perform industry research at scale and understand how websites in an entire industry or area perform. There really is no limit to the kind of value bulk reporting can deliver to your organization. So let's get into the tool and I'll show you how it works. Using the bulk reporting tool is really simple. All you need is a CSV file with one column containing the website URLs you wanna audit. Make sure you have a header in row one. It doesn't matter what you actually put in this cell, but the input begins from row two. The bulk reporting tool is optimized for Google Sheets like I'm using here. Uh, and when you're done editing, just download the CSV file. Now switch back to SE Optima. And the first step is to go to the report template section to configure your report template. So here you'll be able to completely customize the template. You can add your agency logo, your contact details, customize the scoring, uh, turn on or off any of the checks as well. And then right down the bottom of the page here, you can also preview the PDF report to see exactly how it will look. Once you've set up your report template, click bulk reporting in the menu and then click upload CSV. Now here you'll choose whether you want just the PDF audits or just the data exports or both. And if you're unsure, just select both here. Then if you've set up multiple report templates, you can choose the template you wanna use. And this is handy if you wanna do multiple batches and switch the template for each run. But for now, I'll just leave the template as our default template. Now, in terms of audit processing time, when you click on start bulk reporting, your URLs are then queued for processing and the runtime depends on how many you've loaded. A hundred URLs will be pretty quick, but if you've loaded thousands, then you'll need to check back in a few hours. And you'll see the reports here update in real time. So now that the bulk reporting process is complete, you can choose to individually download the PDF audits or view the raw data for each individual site. But because you're using the bulk reporting tool, it probably makes more sense to download the aggregated results. At the top of the table, click prepare PDF archive and prepare CSV. This just takes a few moments to process. And once that's done, then click download PDF uh, which will give you an archive uh, in a zip file format containing all the PDF audits in one handy file. If you click download CSV, you'll get one CSV file containing 100 columns with all the results from each audit check 
for each site. So let's run through that CSV. Uh, here you'll actually see all the sites you submitted in the first column, followed by the audit status, the upload date and submit date. Then the next 96 columns represent each individual audit check. Data returned from this process uh, is represented in three different ways in the CSV file. Um, for the first six columns here, you'll see all of them are returned as a score. And if you're using our default report template, this will be a grade score between A and F. Uh, but you can switch this to a numeric score from zero to 100 if you wanna do that in the report templates section. For checks with a pass or fail, uh, indicated in the PDF reports with like a tick or a cross, this is represented here in the CSV with a zero or a one. Zero here indicates the site failed this particular check, whereas a one indicates that the site passed this particular check. For checks re which return a value such as the title tag length, this will return the character count or for the title tag itself, this will actually return the full text of the title tag. Another variation is uh, where one of the checks returns an array of return data like the uh, SERP snippet here, where each element is separated with this pipe character. Now that you have the PDF audits and the combined result CSV, the options are endless for how you actually leverage all of this valuable data. The most common next step though is to comb through and find opportunities that are most relevant to your agency. For example, you might wanna reach out to businesses whose websites fail Google's Core Web Vitals check, for example. In this instance, uh, I'll filter this column here by zero or failure and then contact these sites attaching their associated PDF report. Another example might be that your agency specializes in WooCommerce builds. And uh, so you can easily filter for that in the technology list column by just uh, typing in WooCommerce, right? And then filtering that value and reaching out specifically to these sites. If you need further assistance in the app, you can always hit the live chat button in the bottom right of SE Optima to chat with our support team. And if this feature walkthrough was useful, please subscribe to our channel where you'll see uh, all of our future videos too. Thanks for using SE Optima and we'll see you in the next video.